I mean, I think we do have an affordability crisis. That is true, right? Because bottom line well, is... Well, we can afford anything. Yeah, right. I mean, Fed raised rates 11 times, so now your average credit card rate is 20 percent. Um, in addition to that, we've seen inflation go up collectively 17 percent. So, of course, consumers are feeling that. I don't think you can ignore that. Um, and it's a lot of consumers in the younger age millennials between like 30, 39 that are really feeling that crunch. You probably have a lot of student debt as well. Um, you look at like auto loans have gone up dramatically because car prices have gone up dramatically. And I would say like the biggest issue uh, when you want to give, if you want to knock the Biden administration is the unaffordability of housing, right? You get a point where people are locked in at low interest rates. They don't want to sell their home. Availability of homes is very low. We're at the lowest rate since like the 80s in affordability for housing. That's a big, big problem. But the caveat here is you still do have to look at the whole picture. If you look at delinquencies, they're still well below what they were before the pandemic. If you look at uh, debt service to income, it's at about 10 percent. That's still lower than it was for most of the 20 uh, two, or 2000s, rather. Um, and in addition to that, if you look at household net worth right now, it's at $150 trillion plus. And as Adam just said, the beautiful three E's. Mm. You've got, you know, you have wages going up. You have inflation moderating, so purchasing power this year is going to be probably pretty good. That means the consumer is going to continue to spend. So I think we're naive to say that the consumer is going to stop spending yeah. and the economy is about to fall off a cliff, and that's what economists want us to believe last year. Uh, don't get fooled again.